Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome to another video. First of all, we'd like to thank you for all the support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that. So thanks again. Now, let's begin. Do you tremble or sweat at the thought of going out into group gatherings? Social anxiety disorder is a chronic illness defined by a marked and persistent fear of one or more social situations where you're exposed to unfamiliar people. The symptoms of social anxiety can sometimes be so subtle that you're not even aware of what's going on. You may have even brushed off your social anxiety as a bad stomach ache or blamed it on a lack of sleep. But it's important to be aware and recognize some of the symptoms of social anxiety so you can get the support and help you need before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect that you or someone you know may have social anxiety disorder or any mental health condition, we highly advise you to seek help from a qualified mental health professional. With that said, here are seven symptoms of social anxiety disorder. Number one, you worry about everyday activities. Do you feel anxious whenever you need to go out? When you have social anxiety, it can feel daunting and overwhelming to complete normal and everyday tasks. This may include meeting new people, starting conversations with others, speaking on the phone, going to work, or doing daily tasks such as grocery shopping where other people are present. Number two, avoiding and worrying about social activities. Are you nervous around other people? Whether it's because you feel claustrophobic around crowds or feel that other people are judging you when you're out, people with social anxiety may go out of their way to avoid activities that involve a lot of people. This may include any social gatherings, engaging in group conversations and socializing at events. Number three, blushing and excessive sweating can be physical symptoms. Have you found yourself trembling or sweating a lot when you're in a social situation? Sometimes, your social anxiety disorder may manifest itself through physical symptoms. Excessive blushing or sweating can sometimes be linked to an intense fear of embarrassment, especially when in the presence of other people. Other symptoms may include feeling sick, trembling, or experiencing heart palpitations. Number four, you may experience panic attacks. In a more extreme case, you may end up experiencing panic attacks when out in public. You might find yourself sweating, shaking, having problems breathing properly, and experience an overall sense of dread or doom. This overwhelming sense of fear can last from several minutes to an hour, depending on how severe it is, and can be quite a scary experience. Number five, an overwhelming fear of being criticized. Can you take criticism in a healthy way? Instead of seeing criticism as a way to improve, you may experience intense dread or anxiety about being rejected or criticized. Often, this can end up having an impact on your self-esteem and on your interpersonal skills, where you end up having poor eye contact, closed body language, and a tendency to avoid other people. Number six, feeling like you're being judged and watched. Do you feel like you're being watched by others, like your peers, colleagues, or strangers? Maybe you feel like every one of your actions is being monitored or that you're being judged by everything that you're doing. This anxiety you feel in public may cause you to become cautious and distanced from others and may make it more difficult for you to complete tasks in the presence of others. And number seven, expecting the worst case scenario. Do you always think about all the things that could go wrong? Even if your friends have told you that it isn't as bad as you believe it to be, whether it's a presentation, meeting, or just seeing some old friends. Your brain just seems to focus on the worst possible outcome of every situation. This constant thinking of how bad everything can end up being can end up intensifying and worsening your anxiety and dread to the point of causing a panic attack. So do you suspect you or someone you know might be suffering from a social anxiety disorder? If so, reach out to a mental health professional if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon!